guys, the news has been a little depressing lately. So for my absentees over the past few days, it's been hectic. Um, but we do have three stories today, so I'm going to make that up to you guys. But it's been a little hectic lately. There's been a little bit depressing news. you got a president that seems like he's going off the rails, a little bit geriatric, a little bit of a mental illness there. you got a, a vice president, which is uh, in all sorts of trouble at the moment. Uh, you know, just to say Russia's not the only one using bots. Um, that'll be the third story we'll cover for the day. Um, but there is some good news. There is some black light in the future. Um, and I use black light for a reason. Because it's happening. Arizona election workers are running ultraviolet ballot testing on ballots. Now you're probably sitting there thinking, what? Isn't the election over? No, it's not. Um, basically, the Arizona Forensic Audit continues today at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum in downtown Phoenix in Arizona for months. The Board of Supervisors in Makata County have complained about the calls for a forensic review of the ballot in the large and important county. The board members claim everything was fine, but they won't allow anyone to get close to the results. They spent weeks after the election messing with the ballots before they formally concluded the election results. Now, despite their best efforts to prevent an audit on the Mattapalli County, results as the forensics audit is taking place today at the Veterans Memorial Coliseum. The audit, uh, audit is being live-streamed from nine different angles from the arena floor at azaudit.org. As reported previously, inventors and uh, inventor uh, inventor and Dal Alanis Java Pupitsi has a process and the patents surrounding the process where he can identify fraudulent ballots based on the paper used. Creases in the paper, the ink on the forum, and other characteristics. Petsa can identify fraudulent votes which ultimately result in the accurate result of the 2020 election when only valid votes are counted for. Now, you're probably sitting there wondering, is this going to change the election results at all? So, here it is here. Joe Biden, 306, allegedly, and Trump is 232. So, if Arizona was to flip for Trump, it's 11 votes. Trump goes up to 243. Biden goes down to three, uh, 295-ish. So, at the end of the day, he still has over 270 to win. But here's the thing, if Arizona flips because of illegal ballots or whatever it may be, these other ones here all look like they could be in jeopardy as well. And if you start getting Arizona to flip and then you start looking into like Georgia or Pennsylvania, like Georgia promised a vote count or an audit and then refused to do it, so maybe they might be under more pressure to do it. Um, or Pennsylvania, or, or Michigan, or Wisconsin, or whatever it may be. If any of these other two or three flip, then Trump's actually the legal president. And I don't, I don't know what happens there. I really don't know what happens. Um, like, the, like, six months almost into an election already. After the election. Six months into, into a president in his term. Like, it would be a whole lot of can of worms. But, that's the, that's the good part. The part is that Arizona is looking into it. If Arizona does find illegal ballots, the best you could probably make a case for is, well, we found illegal ballots in Arizona. The, the media can no longer claim that the there's no such thing as illegal votes. We have a case of it here, Arizona. We proved it beyond a doubt. And then you could probably go through and try and pivot some of these others to try and win the election through that means. And like I said, I, I don't know what happens. I really don't know what happens with the rest of these. And I don't know what happens if Trump does manage to get the 270 and Biden doesn't. I, I really don't know what happens. Um, I, I think everything that Biden has signed into power is null and void. All of these executive orders, everything that he's been doing has been is null and void, and it all gets reverted back to the way it was. Yeah, like it's 
Yeah, the best thing is, is if they do win Arizona, and even if they don't get the election, it might be enough to hold off the Senate or the House. So, most likely the Senate. They're, they're very close on the Senate. It's a pretty much a 50-50 split. So, if they get Arizona, yeah, then at the end of the day, you know, the Republicans are back in charge again. Or, you know, in, in the lead, I think it is. Because I think at the moment, the, the Democrats are in lead by one. So, at the end of the day, like I said, there's a lot riding on this. Um, and obviously, at the end of the day, the left are a little bit worried. They're a little bit worried about what is going on. Um, it looks like the actual camera feeds are down. Oh, no, there they are. There we go. So, you can actually go through and, like, blow it up and actually watch the ballot counting. Which is pretty cool. I like that. I like the transparency. I really, really do. Um, like this one here, for example. Transparency. Uh, and I imagine there are conservatives that are watching this 24-7 just to make sure everything is above board. Um, now, obviously, the election, uh, AZ, uh, Arizona election worker. I was on the list for the Arizona GOP. And they told me to Google that told me that Google eliminated the list. They're trying to keep the public out. So Gateway Pundit correspondent Jordan Venture uh, down ventured down to the Veterans Memorial Coliseum in Phoenix today. Jordan spoke with Arizona Patriot Party reporter Brad Hewitt, who was leaving uh, leaving the security checkpoint. Brad said the Arizona Rangers told him today. Google had eliminated the list of Arizona GOP workers who were approved to enter the audit center. My name is Brad Hewitt. I'm here to investigate with the Patriot Party of Arizona. I pulled into gate two and they told me I could not get in unless I had a security pass. They told me something entirely different over here, pointing to a different gate. I was told that I was on the list for the Arizona GOP. And they told me Google eliminated the list. So they're trying to keep out the public of this audit. Obviously, they're trying to hide what's really going on. So, yeah, it's interesting. Um, would it surprise me? No, probably not. Uh, Democrats illegally blocked Republican observers from entering the vote counting area. Republicans allow the whole world to view the Metapata, Metapapa audit. Just goes to show the differences. The difference could not be more clear. The Democrats in cities like Philadelphia, Detroit, Atlanta, Phoenix, and Las Vegas wouldn't allow Republicans into the vote counting area. These cities swang the, uh, swung the election. Now Republicans are behind an audit in Maripota County that allows the whole world to watch the most transparent election audit ever. And obviously that was the one we just brought up. After the elections, Republicans were forcibly prevented from watching the election counting in Philadelphia. Democrats broke the law in preventing Republicans in the room, but law enforcement did nothing. This was a shock to the ho uh, shock to those who believed in law and order. In Michigan, uh, Republican poll watchers were assaulted and then removed from the room. Uh, the room and Republicans were prevented from entering the room. So it just goes to show the difference between the two parties, right? This is the Democrats, this is the Republicans. Just, hey, Democrats, you, you're the one that made this bed. All right, I'm, yeah. What, what did you think was going to happen when you start doing stuff like this? Uh, audit team in Arizona on Thursday night describes the process involved in auditing. Liberal, uh, liberal media screams and demands to know who is paying for it. The former Arizona Senate of State of the CEO of Cyber Ninjas held a press conference on Thursday night in the Arizona Veteran Memorial Coliseum at the State Fairgrounds in Phoenix. The media was the only there to cause trouble. They had no intention of listening to the incredible work that had been already done to develop most transparent order in history. So, I believe the guy that is funding this is what the media is also saying is, a, is like a person that's posting conspiracy theories about the election. Regardless, look at the end of the day, it, it, regardless of his view of the election, if, if there are auditors there, professional auditors there, well, 
They're the ones that get the final say, not him. Doesn't matter how much money he ponies up. Doesn't matter how much he, he might tweet on Twitter. At the end of the day, it's the professional auditors that make the calls. Uh, Arizona Republicans strike back, file motion of their own against the state Democrats. Arizona GOP Chairwoman Kelly Wards uh, delivers update on Metapota County Forensic Audit. So the Arizona Republican Party Chairwoman Kelly Ward gave an update Saturday on the ongoing Meta County Forensic Audit of the 2020 ballots and the Dominion voting machines. The pro-Trump chair is the right person for the job, I would agree. So far, at least. Anyway, I haven't seen anything to, to contradict that. Kelly Ward spoke about how Democrats went to court on Friday in their latest attempt to shut down the ballot audit. You've got to wonder why people are so worried about the Republicans being able to go through an audit and an election. This is the same party, mind you, that jumped up and down about Russia for four years. Three and a half years, whatever it was. But when the Republicans want to do a simple audit, it's the end of the world. Funny, that, isn't it? Um, according to Ward, the Arizona Supreme Court weighed in on the last challenges by Democrat and also allowed the audit to keep going. So, yeah. So far, we don't have any official results as far as I know. Arizona Attorney General Benevic rejects calls for probe of Matakani election audit, another attempt to delay by the Democrats. Arizona At Attorney General Mark Burbich rejected calls Sorry. by Democrats for an investigation into the possible irregularities in a newly began Senate audit of the 2020 Matakani ballots. So, Soros-funded security of state, Katie Hopes, cited media reports to push an investigation into security lapses. Katie Hobbs, is that the same ones? No, Kelly Ward. SOS Hobbs posted a snarky comment on a, online after the Attorney General discussion. Attorney General rejects call for probe of Manikani 20 election results. It's not what he said. Live with the mission. And Arizona judge recruits himself, and this is breaking news, from the election audit case to be settled in the morning after judge is notified that attorney who previously interned for judge works for the auditors. The judge in the Democrat case where they are attempting to stop the audit, Arizona audit requests himself on Sunday. On Sunday evening, the Arizona, the Manor County Superior, Superior, Superior Court Judge Christopher Courtney, who oversaw the case related to the Democrats' challenge to the audit, currently going on in the country, uh, recruits himself off the case. The reason is that the auditors hired an attorney who interned with Judge Kerber previously when the new attorney was introduced today, for the first time, the judge was forced to resign from the case. It does make you wonder if that was a tactic. Um, look, at the end of the day, like I said, it's it's a long shot. I don't think it's going to disalign. We'll flip the election. But it might be enough to cast out. And then they might be able to go through and do some audits elsewhere. That, that's all I want. At the end of the day, and I think that's all a, a lot of Republicans want. They just want an audit. If the election is above board and everything is on the up and up and everything is fine and Biden won fair and square, what's the harm in an audit? And, and you know, it's not just the right wing that says that either. Even left wings, you know, even, even Democrat supporters. They're like, sure, yeah, if you want an audit, let's do it. It's weird how the Democratic Party really doesn't want to do this audit. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Obviously, guys, we'll keep you up to date on this and we'll keep following it. Um, we do have two more stories for you. Um, and uh, apart from that, guys, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. I haven't really seen anybody else talking about this, which is weird. But guys, apart from that, if the video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. 
Apart from that, guys, we'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.